Come here, we need to talk right now. Why are there six women in the break room in leather skirts and fishnet leggings? Hey, whoa, whoa, why are you assuming this has anything to do with me? Does it have anything to do with you? <laughs> yeah. Well, now that we got that out of the way, why are there six women in leather skirts and fishnet leggings in the break room? Do you realize Roscoe just walked in there to get a honey bun and walked to the truck to go cash a social security check? We need to have this figured out before he gets back, all right? Hey, look, Roscoe is an adult, okay? What he wants to do with his money is his business. All right, besides, I don't know why you're mad about this. I mean, you're the one that told me to bring him. Now, you see, Roscoe, he may be having early onset dementia at any day, but I know I am not. So I know for a fact I have never said, yes, Ricky, you can bring hookers to the break room. That sounds like a great idea. In any shape, way, or form, I have never said those string of words. So how the fuck did I tell you to bring them? This morning, in the safety meeting. I mean, you pretty much ended it with telling me that I should bring them here. I mean, do you not remember? Just think back, have a flashback. And remember guys, concluding this morning's safety meeting, it is cold outside, we are in the winter months. And you know, if you're cold, they're cold, just go ahead and bring them inside. That was about pets, household pets. Your dogs and cats and animals that you have at home. If you're cold, they're cold. Bring... You know I didn't mean them. You know I didn't. They have a home. They need to go to it. Okay, okay. Untwist your ponytail, princess. I'll take them back where I found them. I mean, we could just wait 20 minutes and Roscoe will take them all somewhere. That's what I'm trying to stop from happening, okay? We need to do something before he... Oh, shit. Hey, Roscoe, what do you... What do you got there, buddy? Oh, nothing, just half gallon of Jack out of my truck. <laughs> what, what do you need that for, man? We're at work. Well, somebody had said recently they were kind of thirsty and I didn't have no water, so I just figured this would be all right. And uh, I mean, you, you can go ahead and clock me out. I'm, uh, I'm tied up the rest of the day. Oh, <laughs> I mean, what if they don't want to drink? Hey, you know, they might not want to drink, but this $900 check I just cashed in my front right pocket says they gonna want to do something. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see y'all boys later. You know, I wouldn't come in the break room for a little while if I was y'all. Mm-hmm, okay. Do you see what you did? Can you take a wild guess as to who the fuck is cleaning the break room tomorrow? That's the least of my worries right now. Pablo just texted me and he said Roscoe took eight Viagra pills in the parking lot and two Rhino gas station pills at the same time. We didn't call an ambulance. Oh, for fuck. He's gonna have a stroke in there and this is gonna be on you. You worried about him? He took two rhinos and eight blue pills. Okay, I'm worried about them. He's gonna relive the 70s. We gotta get some help in there for them.